Challengers. Ultra Street Fighter 2. The final challengers. Just in case you didn't get it the first time. Hey everybody, it's Rad Rad, and welcome to Ultra Street Fighter 2, the final challengers. This is a Nintendo Switch exclusive that was released in 2017 to, yes, coincide with Street Fighter's 30th anniversary. So what is unique? Uh, actually. We should go over here. What is unique about this version of Street Fighter 2? For one thing, it's an ultra version, which means it's a brand new rebalanced revision. Well, not too much balance is going on, but they did get rid of a couple of anti-fun loops, let's say. So you can actually change the graphics and sounds of the game. We are borrowing the graphics from the Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix that was released a decade prior. Or you can go back to the classic Super Turbo sprites and 4x3 display to counter that. But this one, this next option is the most important. You can actually change the sound effects to resemble the classic Street Fighter 2 sounds or... A remastered style with remastered music and brand new voiceovers that might be a little familiar if you've been following. So with that, for old time's sake... There are two new playable characters added, the literal final challengers of Evil Ryu and making his Capcom fighting debut, Violet Ken. This was a character previously included in the SNK fighting game, SVC Chaos. So of course we're gonna select him for this arcade mode run. These two are the reason this game is not as respected because they are busted to high heaven. So how much are they? So, throw breaks are a thing. Ken has his dash that Violet Ken had in SBC Chaos. His dash does go behind the opponent if Ken is close enough for them to do so. While we're not going to be using it too much on Guile because he's starting to get wise to our plan. You win. Just know that that mobility is an incredible asset to Violent Ken. So, this version of Ultra was developed by Capcom entirely. The only influence is the Udon art style in the HD... from the HD Remix. As you can see, Zangief really, really likes Green Hand in this one. Oh, I got really lucky there. I saw my life flash before my eyes after that uh, Dragon Punch didn't combo. So, Violent Ken doesn't have any of the crazy kicks that Ken is known for. He does have the forward medium kick, but that's about it. So beyond these ridiculous additions, 
game mostly plays like Super Turbo. And as you can hear, there are new versions of these themes exclusive to this game. They weren't ripped from any pre-existing port, collection, remix, what have you. Yeah, Capcom decided to put some effort into a game exclusive to a platform, and for Street Fighter, no less, and for a Nintendo platform, no less. England. For the record, One. Nintendo would not get an exclusive Street Fighter after this. I mean, the only other Street Fighter game on Switch it's the 30th anniversary collection. You but that's win. not exclusive. Perfect. The only other time in recent memory that we've had a Nintendo exclusive Street Fighter experience was 3D Edition for the 3DS. Street Fighter had pretty much skipped Nintendo platforms for the longest time. Despite the fact that the Super Nintendo version of Street Fighter 2 equals, if not eclipses, the performance of the arcade version. Japan. Round one, fight. Let me just also state for the record, and this is a knock on wood moment, finally! Finally, a Street Fighter 2 where I am not breaking my back on medium difficulty. Let's just have a little moment to sort of applaud reasonable AI in relation to Street Fighter 2. It took them 30 years, but the moment has arrived at last. Of course, it probably doesn't help that I'm using a incredibly overpowered character, but, you know. I said the same thing when I played Akuma in Super Turbo, and look how that turned out. I will definitely applaud Capcom for putting their game on Switch. Because it was games like this that kind of forced my hand and made me realize that my Nintendo machine isn't just going to be used to play Nintendo games anymore. You win. Yes, Nintendo has put out feelers for third-party developers in the early days of a console lifespan, but that support tended to die out rather quick, like with the Wii U, for example. Now, what you just saw with that fast-approaching assault was Ken, Violent Ken's new super combo. Japan. Round one, fight! God, that damage is ridiculous. You win. Perfect. I mean, usually if they're gonna give you a strong boss-like character, they're at least going to lower the damage output when he's in the hands of the player, like Seth, for example. Seth had so many moves and tools at his disposal. they weren't as powerful as he was in his boss form, uh, Rugal, Rugal in the King of Fighters. You could play as regular Rugal in certain KOF games. He was nowhere near his boss self. 
But Capcom's like, nah, let it rock. This is a version you can't take seriously. This is the fun version. For the record, light controls are also back in this game. But it's not a matter of touching the screen to unleash a super combo or a special move or any of that. Light controls in the Switch version would have meant that any type of command would have been on a button. Like a little shortcut, if you will. Except it wasn't just limited to three punches and three kicks. You could pick just about anything you wanted. Special moves and super moves alike. And yeah, we're already at the four kings. We don't even have to worry about what Balrog can do, because he's not going to be able to do it. You win. Round two, fight. Okay, that doesn't work outside the corner. You win. Perfect. 50,000 off a of perfect. Spain! Round one, fight! Oh, Vega! Oh. You have no idea how gosh darned cathartic that was. No idea. I can't quantify that. All of that aggression against Vega unleashed. There is not a supercomputer in the universe that could measure how unbelievably, yeah, unbelievably cathartic that was. Alright. Just gonna peep it to gut. Not as... Not clutching his fireballs as much. There we go. So yeah, computer's a little more nuanced. It's not as aggressive. It's not stuck in its own little JavaScripting. Basic text has been upgraded, so it's not just go to tiger twenty, go to tiger uppercut anymore. And that's a good thing. Thailand. I like the different plane sound effect, because, hey, we're still in Thailand. We don't have to travel that far. Hi! Round I think I will do no such thing. Akuma! Still kind of the exception to the rule. And by exceptional, I mean exceptionally special. He still has his devastating damage output. And his maneuverability. And his red fireballs. And his teleports. Everything you'd expect Akuma to have. But it ain't gonna matter. Because of the power I behold. And that is Ultra Street Fighter 2, the final challengers, done.
So yeah. Here's a rare example of a game that's only going to be made for one console. And Capcom definitely put a lot of effort into their little heartwarming gift for Nintendo. Their little little homecoming for the Switch. We could go into some of the bonus modes like Way of the Hotto, but you don't want to see that. Come on, we're, we're ending this on a positive note. Anywho, that would usually mark the end of our, gosh, 14-month journey of going through just about every Street Fighter game that we can realistically get our hands on. It's been fun going back and playing these older games, especially ports that I didn't know existed at the time. And maybe particular versions of it I had never laid my hands on before. But as of this moment, it's been some 35 years for Street Fighter. And they have come a long way since then. From the birth of the arcades to Street Fighter 2, to its brand new anime-inspired look in Alpha, to the new generation of Street Fighter 3, to... The hell with it, let's just make Street Fighter 4 again. And... Wait, maybe we went a little too far into the competitive scene with Street Fighter V to... Okay, let's just... Let's just bring back everything that makes fighting games cool in Street Fighter VI. Okay, so let's just completely screw everything up about what makes fighting games cool for Street Fighter VI. Delete as appropriate. So that being said, there's one more game on here that we still have to play through. Realistically, until Street Fighter VI releases, this was the last major Street Fighter release. Aside from version revisions, ports, collections, and all that. There is still a little V-shaped hole in there, and... Well, I did promise you some arcade modes, didn't I? 